Hi guys, Jason here. Today we're going to talk about how to integrate Hasuris PBX and TG Gateway. So, what's a TG Gateway? Well, TG Gateway can expand slots for PBX to connect more SIM cards, making and receiving calls by these cards. We can integrate gateways and PBX via the local network environment, the internet, and VPN. Basically, once we ensure both devices are accessible to each other, then integration will be realized by SIP trunking. The only thing left here is just figuring out the call routing. Alright, check it out. Take this scenario as an example. S300 and TG200 have been deployed in the same local network environment. Both devices are assigned a specific private IP, so they are accessible to each other. Now, our job is quite simple. Create a peer trunk between them. Since two facilities are in the same LAN, we can create trunk directly. But if two devices are deployed respectively into distance offices, and remember to enter their static public IP or domain names instead, on the PBX side, add a peer trunk to access the TG gateway. Check the registration status and confirm the connection. Then we turn to the TG Gateway side. Go click on Gateway. Create a trunk. Here we have three options. Account, Register Trunk, and Peer Trunk. They will apply to different scenarios. When integrating Azure's PBX and a Gateway via the Internet, if a static public IP or DDNS service is available for the Gateway, yet not available for the PBX, we can open an account on the gateway for PBX registration in the account mode. If a static public IP or DDNS service is only available for the PBX, we can open an account on the PBX and register the gateway to the PBX in the register trunk mode. If a static public IP or DDNS service is available for both devices, we can choose the peer trunk mode. Besides, the last mode can also be applied to the example scenario in the local environment. So we simply enter the private IP of PBX. And don't forget to check the connection status. Make sure it has been activated. Once the trunk between two devices works, we auto road calls between so that extension users of the PBX will be able to make and receive calls with the SIM cards inserted in the gateway. On our PBX, create an outbound route to get outgoing calls to the gateway. Meanwhile, let's get to the gateway to route incoming calls from the PBX out to the final destination. Two SIM cards have been inserted in the TG gateway. Besides, we can put them into one group if we want to balance calls with our two mobile trunks, so that incoming calls will be routed out through one of the trunks in this group. Create a mobile group, select these two trunks, and check the balance strategy so that the system will always choose the trunk which has been listed used firstly. Then, configure IP to mobile route to route calls out. Enable the simple mode, and we can allow all incoming calls from PBX to be sent out through the SIM cards. Disable the simple mode, we will see the advanced settings. While usually it's designed for limiting incoming calls from PBX or creating a more complex route, normally the simple mode is enough for the basic daily communication need. We simply choose yes to allow all calls. Set the call source to the void trunk we've created. In the destination, choose the mobile group. Save and apply the configurations. Now, all outgoing calls from the PBX will be sent out through the same cards available. Next, we're supposed to figure out routing incoming calls from these same cards to reach internal users of the PBX. First, on the gateway, route incoming calls to the PBX. Add a mobile to IP route on the gateway. Choose the same card as a call source and set the destination to the PBX. As we know, SIM cards have no DID numbers. We can customize a number here, which will be bound with the trunk. 
Besides, remember to enter the same number in the DID pattern of an inbound route on the PBX to make it work. Jumping to the PBX, let's create an inbound route. Enter the hotline number in DID pattern. Choose the trunk and set the destination to an IVR, instructing the original caller to dial an extension number to get connected. Once all the settings takes effect, all incoming calls from the same card will get connected to any of our internal extensions. Alright, now it seems that we have a complete system to handle calls between our PBX and Gateway. Have a test! Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you're not already. I will see you guys in the next one.